something interesting, guys. I thought I'd bring this to your attention because we're about to see a new star in our skies, according to this article on NASA's blog, Watch the Skies. Now, this article was published on February the 27th, 2024, and it's by Laura Perkins from NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Now, Laura goes on to tell us that they are predicting that we are going to see a star that is visible to the unaided eye very soon. In fact, we can actually see it any time from February to September, and it is going to be visible in the constellation of the Northern Crown, otherwise known as Corona Borealis. Very interesting that it is happening right between these two very symbolic constellations of Hercules and Boots. Now, they're not saying what color the star will be, but they do say that it is going to be of similar brightness to the North Star Polaris, and Polaris is a blue star. So they're saying that it brightens once every 80 years, and the last time that it brightened was in 1946. However, I had a look for some information in regards to this brightening back in 1946, and all I could find was this one research paper, and it seems that it wasn't actually visible to the naked eye. They just actually picked it up in their data. So they're just talking about the sine curve. So I find that very interesting that we have yet another blue star that is going to brighten in our skies and this star will be in the northern crown. The last time we had a star brighten in our sky was in Ursa Major and this was last year on the 22nd of May 2023 and Ursa Major is the star, well the constellation of the Greater Bear. So why I find that interesting, guys, is because the Hopi literally told us that after we saw the blue star Kachina in our sky, that we would actually see a red star, which they called the purifier, and things would start to unfold quite rapidly. Now, we did see a blue star brighten last year, and then we saw the red star Betelgeuse start to brighten as well. Now, I have done some live streams with all of my research into the connections of the constellation Ursa Major, the Greater Bear constellation, and the brightening of the Blue Star, and also the brightening of Betelgeuse, and related it to the Hopi mythology and also scripture and I did that also in this live stream where I have literally connected Betelgeuse to the star of Bethlehem. So I find it interesting we're about to see another blue star brighten in our skies. They are saying between February and September. I also just want to advise that NASA have told us that we are to expect a star brightening or go supernova and this never actually occurred. They did actually predict that a star was going to go supernova back in 2012 or 2013 and it never actually occurred. So I think a lot of these events, they aren't particularly sure of the timing. They just know that it may occur. We know that these people that are high up in these establishment positions, and I'm not talking about people like Laura Perkins or people like Beth Ridgway, I'm talking about very high up in the establishment in NASA and also in the government and also in our religious organizations. They absolutely are watching for all of these events because they know that they basically give us an idea of how close we are to all of this playing out at the very end of the great year cycle. If you're not aware of the great year cycle, I do have some playlists that might interest you. I have this playlist, The Divine Nature Within Mankind, and I've got all of my different mythologies and prophecies and legends from all of the different cultures talking about 
what is going to unfold in the last degree of the great year. Here is the Hopi Blue Kachina, Red Kachina prophecy. So you may want to check that out as well as this playlist here about the great year. And I find it really interesting that establishment experts completely miss the cycle of the great year when it comes to their research and also huge space weather channels on YouTube who talk about magnetic polarity reversals and cycles and also completely miss the 26,000 year processional cycles that all of the cultures spoke about and actually watched it very, very carefully. They paid attention to the 26,000 year cycle more than any other cycle. So if that interests you, I check those playlists out because it's full of all of my research. So yeah, I just find it really interesting that we're about to see yet another explosion and the star is going to be in a constellation called the Northern Crown. All right, guys, well, I will post all of these underneath the video. And as always, peace out.